bless you. Good afternoon. What no? God bless you, Remy. God bless you, Kofi Owusu. God bless you, Terry. Let's worship the Lord with this song. Any situation at all, only you can do. Elizabeth, God bless you. Charity, God bless you. And can do. Oh. Sorry, let me put down my phone glasses. Nicole, how are you? God bless you. Only you can do what no man can. Bounty Plus, God bless you. Let's worship the Lord. Only Him is able. What no man can do. Victoria Lawrence, God bless you, woman of God. Thanks for joining us. Wow, bless the name of the Lord. Yes. He's the only one we have. Just like you, you are doing the same today. You are doing the same today. Comfort the same today. You are doing the same today. You are doing the same today. Yes. Pastor Fifi, God bless you. How is Rwanda? Yes, so doing the same today. Only you can do what no man can do. Yes, Lord. Only you can do what no man can do. Yes. Only you can do. What no man can do. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes. Resurrected Jesus. Yes. Yes, Jesus. Jesus. Name above all names. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Good afternoon. Good morning. Good evening. Um, wherever you're tuning in from or you're watching from, the Lord bless you this Saturday morning. We just want to worship the Lord. We want to thank the Lord 
for the gift of life. Today is Saturday, day 18. God has brought us this far. Ebenezer, we thank you. Somebody just lift up your voice. Say, Lord, I thank you. I thank you for causing me to come before your presence, for bringing me to this time, day 18. You have been with us from day one, day two, day three. Hebziba, God bless you. God bless you. Let's just say, Lord, I thank you. Week one has gone. Week two has gone. Now we are in the third week. By his mercy, we are alive. By his mercy, he keeps giving us revelation after revelation after revelation. Godwin, God bless you. God bless you. You know, yesterday, woman, one of my mothers called me because she has been telling me that, daughter, I no longer remember my dream. I no longer remember my dream. And I said, mommy, don't worry. In this season, God will speak to you. Yesterday, when I went to see her, she said, my, my daughter, guess what? She was in a revelation. She saw two men dressed like heavy soldiers. They were cleaning up all the environment where she was. They were cleaning. They were clearing. They were tidying everywhere. They were doing all kinds of uprooting and cleaning all over everywhere she was. And she said suddenly she saw fresh grass begin to grow. That is deliverance. That is setting free. You see, in this season, God is going to open your spiritual eyes. Just lift up your voice and say, Lord, I thank you. Blessed is the man. Blessed is the woman whom God causes to appear before him. Godwin Chidiabere, thanks for joining us. Honey Bell Naya, thanks for joining us. Wilson Akinso, Raja, God bless you. Just say, Lord, I thank you for the gift of sight. There are some of you before the end of this 30 days. That power that steals your dreams that when the Lord speaks to you through revelation, you don't remember your dreams. Today, God is opening your eyes in the realms of the spirit. You begin to see more clearly. You begin to hear more clearly. Your vision, your ears, your sensitivity becomes more. I just say, Lord, I thank you because I thank you in anticipation for what you are going to do in my life through this season. You see, yesterday I was working with one of my friends, one a lady I met, and I was telling her that we're in 30 days fasting. She said, woman of God, my fasting life has completely expired. I no longer fast. And she said, Lord, revive me in the place of fasting. She said, I used to fast. I used to stay in the place of prayer, you know, but she still prays. But she said, this is one of my thoughts that you didn't come to work with me by accident. God knows why he connected us together. Last night I worked. Yes, I'm here this morning. It is grace and grace alone. Hallelujah. So while some of you are sleeping on your bed, we are nurses. You know, the, the medical field is a 24 hour kind of care you know i always tell people that even my our field where we work we are still doing the work of god you know the church used to be the hospital the church used to be the one in charge of the government and everything until things started moving so even as you're doing the work of god through any profession you're doing you are in acting lives. You are changing destinies. Hallelujah. You don't know who it is that you're going to meet. That one word you will speak in their life turns everything around. Joyce, thanks for joining us. Hallelujah. Just say, Father, I thank you. I thank you. You see, just like the song at that sang, the name of Jesus, that name is a powerful name. That name is an awesome. I say, Father, I thank you for the name of Jesus. Have you ever been in a battle? And there are so many things coming against you in a dream. And you scream that name, Jesus. Everything stops. All the things that were running after you, they take off. Because that name is the name that demons hear and the tremble. That name delivers. That name sets free. Um, real um, DJ nice. God bless you. Hallelujah. Let me tell you, that name is a name that is awesome. That name is the name that has driven you this far. That, but for the name of Jesus, child of God, where will you be? But for the name of Jesus, tell me what would have come out of your life. Look back at where you're coming from. Look at where you are right now. It is because of Jesus. It is because of his glory. It is because of his finished work on the cross. That is why you and I have a right standing before God. I just want you to lift up your voice and say, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I bless your name. I bless your name. Oh my goodness, Pastor. Pastor, um, 
Pastor Chima, God bless you. This is the latest husband in, in London. Hallelujah. Uh, he's, he's about, today is Saturday. He's seven days married. Hallelujah. Um, Judah, all the way from, um, from Philippines, God bless you. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, I've been seeing everything you've been writing. May the Lord honor you. Just say, Lord, I thank you. I thank you, people of God. You and I are connected today because of the name of Jesus. You and I are connected from different parts of the world because of the name of Jesus. That name is a name that has made you and I, we don't know ourselves from anywhere, but that name draws unity. That name draws togetherness. That name draws, draws love between us. Child of God, just say, Lord, I thank you. I thank you for the powerful name of Jesus. I thank you for the name that is glorious. You know, I don't know if any of you know this song, but we, we, use, we sing this song in, in our church. I it's, a, it's like um, I, um, the name, the name of Jesus is greater and higher than all names. It is not an ordinary name. It's a name that's full of power and grace. I don't know if you know the song, the name. The name of Jesus, join me if you can sing it, is greater and higher than all names. It is not an ordinary name. It's a name that's full of power and grace. At the mention of the name of Jesus, Demons tremble at the mention of that name. It is not an ordinary name. It's a name that's full and grace. Oh, the name, the name of Jesus. Troubles expire. At the mention of that name, it is not an ordinary name. It's a name that's full of power and grace. At the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee must bow at that name. It is not an ordinary name. It's a name that's full of power and grace. At the mention of the name of Jesus, cancer disappears at the mention of that name. It is not an ordinary name. It's a name that's full of power and grace. You see, the name of Jesus is the name that has kept you and I. You know, when I sing about the name of Jesus, I don't know about you, but that name is my mainstay. That name is the name that has lifted me out of the miry clay. That name is the name that gives me boldness to stand and say, yes. I know that name of Jesus is the name that is higher than all names. Yes, it is not an ordinary name. It's a name that's full of power and grace. It is a name that has kept you alive. When you faced challenges of life that name stood with you that name delivered you delivered your household delivered you from the snare of the fowler i just want you to reflect on how powerful that name jesus is to you maybe when you were in the labor room when they said you know what this child cannot come out you can't birth this child but the name of jesus came at the right time and you had delivery safely the name the name of jesus 
is higher and greater than all names. It is not an ordinary name. It's a name that's full of power and grace. Some of you, when they wanted to deport you out of the country, they said you cannot stay anymore. But that name, Jesus, kept you here. Today, you're British. Today, you can go all over the nations of the world. The name, the name of Jesus is greater and higher than all names. It is not an ordinary name. It's a name that's full of power and grace. I don't know about you, but there was a time after graduating as a nurse, they told me you can no longer practice. But the name of Jesus kept my pin number. Till today, I'm still a practicing nurse. The name, the name of Jesus is greater and higher than no names. It is not an ordinary name. Is a name that's full of power and grace. Some of you went to the doctor and the doctor said to you, you have this disease. Those with this disease, this is what happens to them. This is, their, this is what their life would be like. But that name Jesus stood for you. When you had your child, the doctor said he would not be able to walk. She would not be able to do what their mates are doing. But the name of Jesus, the name, the name of Jesus is greater and higher than all names. It is not an ordinary name. It's a name that's full of power and grace. When they said to you, your child is, is full of addiction, the child has all kinds of manners of things in and out of prison, and you looked at your child and you said, how can I have this kind of child that is wayward? You took that child before the presence of God. You cried out to God over that child. Today, that child that the enemy wanted to destroy is now a child that is serving God. Is now a child that is lifting up the name of Jesus. The name, the name of Jesus is greater and higher than all names. It is not an ordinary name. Is a name that's full of power and grace. When your husband left you, when your wife left you, and you thought your world was over, you thought nothing would come out of you, you thought nothing would come out of the children, you were left abandoned, disgraced, and put in a place of shame and dishonor. But the name of Jesus, the name that is above every name, the name that stood between the dark hours, the name, the name of Jesus is greater and higher than all names. It is not an ordinary name. It's a name that's full of power and grace. When the doctor said you can't have children, you've got pickers, you have infertility, unknown infertility, that there is none, that you have 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.1 chance of getting pregnant. But the name of Jesus stood for you. When they said you had low sperm count, that you cannot impregnate your wife, but you came back to the name that is above every name. The name, the name of Jesus. Is higher and greater than all names. It is not an ordinary name. It's a name that's full of power and grace. Father, we bless you, we exalt you, we glorify your name. We thank you, Jehovah, for how far you have brought us. Day 18, who are we that you are mindful of us? Who are we that you have called us? Who are we? The Bible says, sit at my right hand until I make your enemies your footstool. 
Who are we that you have chosen us out of darkness into your marvelous light? Father, we appreciate you. We thank you. We say you are worthy. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Uh, Reverend Yemesi Dumoye, all the way from Atlanta. God bless you. Sister Favor, God bless you. Judah, have an anointing voice. Oh, wow. God bless you. You know, the voice comes when when, when it's needed. Hallelujah. China Sokeke, God bless you. Thanks for joining us. Um, Ayola Damilola, God bless you. Thanks for joining us. Hallelujah. We're looking at the names of Jesus. Yesterday we looked at some names. Today we are looking at some further names of Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. That's in the book of Hebrews, chapter 12, verse 2. That is another name of Jesus. He's the author. He's the one that started your life journey. Your friends did not start it. Your family members did not start it. He's the one that is in charge of your faith. Hallelujah. He's the one that called you. The word of God says you have not chosen yourself, but he chose you. So when people come, when situations come to give you marching order, you say, look, you didn't start this journey with me. It was Jesus. It is Jesus. It is Jesus. You tell your situation, it is Jesus that is. Gave your life to Jesus. Hallelujah. The Bible says in Hebrew 12 verse 2, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. For the joy set before him, he endured the cross, scorning its shame. And today he sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Hallelujah. Jesus' eyes was focused. When you understand who is the author and the finisher of your faith, when distractions come your way, you say distraction, hear me and hear me clearly. Jesus is the author. Jesus is the finisher of my faith. And his mighty hand will keep you in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The Bible, another name for Jesus is Emmanuel. The Bible says in Matthew 123, Behold, a virgin shall be with a child and shall bring forth a son. And they shall call his name Emmanuel, which means or is interpreted God with us. So when moments of loneliness comes your way, when moments of abandonment comes your way, when it looks as if your family, your brothers, your sisters, your colleagues, your friends have left you, you remember the name Emmanuel. God is with me. God is in me. God is around me. I am not alone. When there are decisions you need to make and that you find difficult to make, you remember that the Lord is with me like a mighty warrior. I shall not be afraid. Emmanuel is his name. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says he, another name for Jesus is the morning star. Amen. The Bible says in Revelation 22 verse 16, like I say that I always back all these things with scripture. Because the morning will come when you will wake up and you don't feel like getting up. You feel down. You feel out. You just remember that the morning star is your God. Hallelujah. The Bible says, I, Jesus, have sent my angels to testify to you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David and the bright and the morning star. When you realize that Jesus is the bright and the morning star, you will always, you always look bright. Don't carry the whole world on your shoulder. Amen. Don't carry the, the, the issues of life on your shoulder. The Jesus, the word of God says that, that cast your burden upon him for he cares for you. He is the bright and the morning star. When the bright and the morning star lives in you, how you can't have a dull moment. Hallelujah. When the bright and the morning star resides in your heart, your heart even in the challenges around you, you are filled with joy. You are filled with un un unquestionable joy. Hallelujah. Amen. Verse 15. Um, another name for Jesus. How many have I called now? Hallelujah. I hope you're following through. The son of righteousness. Hallelujah. The son of righteousness. You see, our God is a, is a, is a bright and brighter morning star. He's the son, S-U-N, of righteousness. That means he radiates 
Jesus radiates. Hallelujah. The Bible says in Malachi 4 verse 2, But to you who fear my name, the Son of Righteousness shall arise with healing in his wings, and ye shall go out and grow fat like stuffed calves. That is who he is to you. Praise the Lord. That is who he is to you. He comes with healing with it in his wings. When you understand these names of Jesus, when situations arise, when sickness comes your way, you look at that sickness as the son of righteousness. His name is Jesus with, willing, with healing in his wings. I arise from my sick bed. I arise from the prognosis of the doctor because the name of Jesus, he has paid the price. He has said on the cross of Calvary, it is finished. Hallelujah. Oh my goodness, um, um, you know, Kano, God bless you, man of God. Thanks for joining us, Pastor Ruth Tiso. God bless you, woman of God. Thanks for joining us. Hallelujah. When you know the intricacies of the name of Jesus, there is no situation around your life that this name will not work for you. Amen. The name of Jesus will work for you, whether you are sick, whether you are, you are abandoned. There is something about his name that moves in your situation and meets you where you are. Hallelujah. Amen. I love this one. He's the Alpha and the Omega. The beginning and the end. He's the Alpha. He's the author. He's the finisher. So why are you afraid of man? Why are you afraid of carrying out the assignment he has given you? Why are you afraid of what people will say? Are they the one that commissioned your calling? Are they the one that gave you the right, the, the anointing? It is not them. The, the, the alpha and the omega of your life is the one that called you. He's the one that anointed you. He's the one that put his words in your life. He's the one that put his words in your destiny. You must obey him who has called you. The Bible says in Revelation 1 verse 8, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, says the Lord, who is and who was and who is to come, the Almighty. <laughs> That is the God that you serve. That is the Jesus that you call. Whenever you call the name Jesus, the alpha of your life arises. Whenever you call the name Jesus, the omega of your life arises. Whenever you call the name Jesus, the beginning of your life arises. The one that knew you before you, you were formed in your mother's womb. The one that, that knew every hair on your head. The one that knew every, every speech, every hair on your skin. The one that knows where it hurts you most. The one that has the spare parts of your life. That is the Alpha and the Omega. No human being can love you the way God loves you. No human being can meet your needs the way that God loves you. That's why I said, I am. You know, one of the things I love about Jesus is that he proudly exhibits who he is. He says, I am the beginning and the end. I am the son of righteousness. I am the most high God. I am your father. He describes himself for who he is to you. Child of God, every time you call the name of Jesus, as you breathe, as you meditate on the meaning of those names, I'm telling you that no situation of your life, no circumstance of your life will ever, ever be able to overcome you in the name of Jesus. Somebody shout hallelujah. Dickie Nelson Gossie, thanks for joining us. Aura Premier, thanks for joining us. Femi Peters, thanks for joining us. Joyce Chidiose, thanks for joining us. Hallelujah. Nothing can ever overcome you. Somebody shout hallelujah. Number seven, another one is he is the light of the world. Amen. He is the light of the world. He is the light of the world. And you know, the, you, maybe you need to go to SoundCloud and listen to my message on God's exhibition center. I tell we are God's exhibition center. You see, when you go to a supermarket, and you see mannequins, they always put the best clothes on the mannequins. The reason why they put the best clothes on the mannequin is so that you can go into that shop and buy things in that shop. Hallelujah. So, that, that, so you are God's mannequin. So when he's the light of the world, you radiate his light. In him you live. In him you move. Him you go. When you lift up a smile, other people smile. Don't in the environment. Hallelujah. 
You carry God. You are, you are a mobile instrument of God. Wherever you go, it doesn't matter the thickness of darkness. Darkness disappears. Somebody shout hallelujah. That is the name of Jesus. When you walk in the consciousness of this name, when you walk in the consciousness of whom, what this name can do, when you see a dark situation, you just say, Jesus is here. Jesus is here. The most high is here. Where is he in me? He's speaking through me. He's walking through me. He's breathing through me. Because why? I am his vessel. I have yielded my members under the submission of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. He is the light of the world. Don't look at it as, oh, Jesus is the light of the world. I am a different. No, you are. You, in him you live. You are inside of him. Hallelujah. The Bible says in John 8, 12. Then Jesus spoke to them saying, I and the light of the world. He who follows me shall not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. What an assurance. Whoever that follows Jesus, Jesus did not tell you who that follows Muhammad, who that follows Buddha. He said, I, Jesus, I am the light of the world. Anyone that follows me, it doesn't matter what the situation is. It doesn't matter what the circumstances is. Anyone, Put your name there. As long as I, as in the follows Jesus, as long as myself, my family, my generation, we follow Jesus, we shall no longer walk in darkness. Rather, we will have the light of life. What is the light of life? You glow, you radiate, everything you touch, the mighty hand of God moves, anything you say, the Lord causes it to come to pass. You now become the light of life. Jesus said, anyone that follows me, Anyone that follows me. So right now, as you see me seated here, I have the light of life. Amen. I have the light of life. That is why whenever the devil comes with his blows, you say, you know what? The spirit of the living God raises what? A standard. It doesn't matter how low you have gone. Those of you that are listening to me, those that will listen to me afterwards, never condemn yourself. You have a high priest, the advocate. Remember, we spoke about that yesterday. He says, my little children, do not see, but peradventure you sin. You have the advocate, Jesus. Come to the advocate, tell him, Jesus, have mercy on me. He will clean you, cleanse you, and you are good to go. The Bible says in Romans 8 verse 1, there is therefore now no more condemnation for them who are in Christ Jesus, who do not walk after the flesh, but after the spirit. You have the light of the life of God in you. That name of Jesus is a powerful name. I don't know why somebody will not come to Jesus. Hey, I don't know why somebody would leave such a wonderful name. The name that is so awesome. Hallelujah. Amen. Number Another name for Jesus is the way. Jesus said in 14 verse 6, are you confused? Are you confused about life, about things? Jesus is the way. The Bible says in John 14, 6, Jesus said to him, I am the way. I am the way. Hey, where do you want to go in life? The way is speaking to you right now. What decisions do you want to make in life? The way is speaking to you right now. What is it that you have confusion, distraction on how to move? The way is telling you, I am the way. I am the way. He said in the word of God, said, no one comes to the Father except through me. That's why I said that we don't serve the same God as the God of the Islam. Allah is not our God. Muhammad is not our God. Those that go through medium saints, no, Jesus said nobody can come to the Father except through me. And that settles it. That is the unbreakable, undefeatable word of God. Somebody shout hallelujah. Amen. He said no one. I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. No one, no exception, no man, no woman can come to God except through Jesus. That's why we pray through Jesus. That's why we cry out in the name of Jesus because his name is the name that, we, that gives us access into the throne of heaven. Somebody shout hallelujah. Amen. He is the ancient of days. You know, many times we sing ancient of days, as old as you are. You see, he's the one that can go into your past, deal with your past, and make your present a better future. Hallelujah. 
He is the ancient of days. He is the ancient of days. He is older than the oldest. Before the earth was formed, he was there. Hallelujah. The Bible says in Daniel 7 verse 9, I watched till thrones were put in place. I watched till thrones were put in place. And the ancient of days was seated. <laughs> Do you know who your God is? In the ancient of days. So who is that power? Who is that power of your father's house, of your mother's house? Who are those idols that your, your, the generations and generations before you have been serving that have said that they will not release you into your glorious destiny, into your marital destiny, into your glorious future? Who are they? The ancient of days is here tonight, this afternoon. Hallelujah. He said, his garment was as white as snow and the hair on his head was like pure wool. This throne was a fiery flame. The we its wheels a burning fire. All this is in this our beautiful book, Prayer Jumpstart. I always stop it with they call you for prayer. If you have this book, you can you can minister powerfully in any gathering because all these things I'm saying here is here. There are times you'll be going through things. You just need to say, Father, you are my life. According to your word in John 16, 6, you said you are the truth, the way, and the life. You can even go for and say, Father, you know you are the truth. Your word says in John 14, says that you are my truth. You know you are the ancient of days. Father, appear in my situation. You know that you are the way. Father, I'm confused. I don't know where to go. I don't know how to go. According to your word in John 16, 4, these things are all in this book. You will learn how to pray the scripture. As you're calling Jesus, the different names he is, he begins to become those names to you. He begins to reveal himself in those names. He begins to show himself in those ways. He begins to deliver you in those names. Child of God, get this book. It will help your destiny and get it for somebody. So when you say, I don't know how to pray, there are ways to pray. Prayer is the most beautiful thing heaven gave us on earth to communicate with the realms of the spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Father, we bless you. We exalt you. We're going to stop here. Tomorrow we're going to continue. There's still so much. So much. There are, I wrote down 50 names. He's the image of the invisible God. He's the first one of every creature. He's faithful and true. There is so many. And all these things are with Bible verses. So when you come to situations where you are being accused and you need vindication, you say, Lord, you are my vindication. According to your word, that you are the truth. You are, you, you are the elect of God. You know, look at you. When somebody is praising you, how wonderful. You begin to smile. The first thing, I'm yet to see someone when they're telling you, oh, you look gorgeous. And they're like, their face is strong. Me, I don't even know how to do a strong face. I'm always smiling. Praise the Lord. You know, but when you praise God and remind him of his names, it's even more amazing when you begin to remind God of his names in your native language. You know, we all speak English, but you know, if you're Nigerian, you're now going to Igbo or Yoruba or ethic or from the Philippines, whatever your local dialect is, and you begin to call God by his name. Father, you are my king. You are my Lord. You are the apostle of my confession. <laughs> you are the only wise God. You are my healer. You are my way. You are affirming allegiance to God that Jesus, this is who you are to me. This is what your word says you are to me. So if my life is not aligning up to what your word says you are to me, Father, arise in your glory. Arise in your strength. Arise in your power. And change my situation for good in the mighty name of Jesus. Today, I'm here to tell you that whatever the enemy has taken from you, the season of restoration is now. When I was reading the prayer points, the Lord was speaking to me about the emptiness. Some of you have been emptied. Amen. But God is about to refill you in the name of Jesus. Today is day 18. Rock handwork. Thanks for joining us, Shijo. Thanks for joining us. Hallelujah. The Lord is about to refill you. Hallelujah. When the book of Nahum, Nahum chapter 2, verse 1 to 2. How many people know where the book of Nahum is? Amen. Do you have your Bibles with you? The book of Nahum. The book of Nahum is after Micah. 
before Habakkuk. Amen. So the book of Nahum is a good place for us to look at today. And um, is another version in my book. Let me read it how it comes here. Praise the Lord. He said, He who scatters has come up before your face, man of thought. Watch the road, strengthen your flags, fortify your power mightily. For the Lord will restore the excellence of Jacob. I want you to put your name there. Say, The Lord will restore the excellence of Ezinle. That is, I've put my name. Say to yourself, the Lord will restore the excellence of Ezine, like the excellence of Israel. For the emptiers have emptied them and have ruined their wine branches. Child of God, I don't know what area of your life that has been emptied, but I'm here to prophesy into your life that God is about to is refilling you right now in the name of Jesus. Everything you have lost. Everything you have that has been taken from you forcefully. The Lord is restoring you right now in the name of Jesus. Somebody lift up your voice and say, Father, I thank you. Because today is my day of restoration. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Father, we bless you. Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, Lord, we decree, we declare that, Lord, that we are being restored right now in the name of Jesus. Every area of our lives that the enemy, through his agents, have empty the god father this is the season and the hour of our restoration in jesus mighty name we pray amen now we are looking at prayer points remember somebody might say why why prayer points i described what prayer points are there in this book when someone says what are prayer points they are pointers just as it says prayer points they are what pointers Prayer points are designed to help you to pray after you have read and meditated on the scripture. But there are people who have difficulties. Also, there are people that have difficulties determining what to pray about. When they take a prayer posture, it is important to first highlight that prayer points are not to be followed rigidly. However, they help the believer streamline or jumpstart their desire to pray. So when we have prayer points, the purpose of this prayer point is to help streamline and jumpstart you in the place of prayer. There are some prayers we have prayed over the days. They are not in this book, but the Holy Ghost gave us these prayers as we were reading his word, as we were meditating on the scripture. These prayer points we're coming in and these prayers are, so, are helping us to make for the scripture to be imbibed for the manifestation of the scripture to come to pass in our lives prayer point number one say lord we thank you so much for strengthening us amen i want you to say lord i thank you for strength child of god is not by might is not by power for strength and for the gift of life i always tell people you don't know what life is you don't know what like that you are alive. Do you know how many people that have written your obituary? Do you know how many people that have taken your names to, to different to different altars and they've said, you know what, we want this woman to die. We want this man to die. We want this ministry to be destroyed. But anyway, they went. They'll say, you see this one? The oil upon his head is too strong. We can't. And those that are tempted, their lives went. Those that are tempted, the lives of their children went. Praise the Lord. You don't know what God has been doing behind the scene because you stand for him. So I want you to say, Lord, I thank you for strength. That you woke up, that you're breathing and for, and, and for strength for the gift of life. Lord, we do not take it for granted. We bless your name, Jehovah. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Prayer point number two. Lord, we thank you for great revelations throughout this fasting and prayer. I know some of you, you've inboxed me what the Lord has been showing you, what you have been receiving this period. I want to say, Lord, I thank you. Because in thanking him for the great revelation, he does more. He shows you more. He gives you new direction, what to do, how to do it, with whom to do it. It is by his spirit that he reveals more. Say, Lord, I thank you for great revelations through others' fasting and prayer. Lord, I bless your holy name, King of glory. Don't thank the Lord for even connecting us together. 
So there are, there are billions of people on Facebook and the Lord led us to connect as friends on, on social media. Every day I bless the name of the Lord for social media. I thank the Lord for Instagram. I thank the Lord for WhatsApp. I thank the Lord for Facebook. I say, Lord, bless those that are working in these companies. Lord, uphold them. Father, shield them. <gasps> Father, let release new and more ideas so that the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ will go to the nations of the world world in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you for the innovation. Some of us, we would have gone to look for TV stations to pay just to sit down and minister to people. We would have gone to pay a radio station just to minister to people. But with one computer, with one with, with one phone, you are able to reach the whole world. Let me tell you, let us not take it for granted. It is a beauty God has given the body of Christ. It is an advantage God has given us. I want you every day to pray. Bless the name of the Lord for social media. For those of us that have WhatsApp, I was sharing the other day that I was speaking to my mom that is almost 80 on WhatsApp many years ago in United Kingdom. Do you know that your phone bill, it was only BT. Your phone bill goes up to 3,000 pounds just to call Africa. You will call and money is going. You only had landline. The only time you can speak to your family is when you've gone to work and you come back home. Today, you can just call for free. You, they can send you pictures. This is what is happening. You can video call your family. Let's bless the Lord for what he has provided for us in these last days. Let's say, Lord, I thank you because we are using it to the advantage of the kingdom of God. We bless your holy name. Father, we worship you because it is all working for our good. It is all working for our destiny. Child of God, there are people that watch what I do. They don't come online. They call, they write me later and say, woman of God, I just want to thank you because of what you are doing. When I see what God is doing in your life. When I see your boldness, it encourages me to step out. I remember when I went to India, a woman was so scared to go on mission. But when she saw what God did in India, she said, you know what? I am now going on missions. Because when I saw how transparent, when I saw how you went, how you took all of us along, I now said, no, no, no. No longer will I sit on my backside. I need to get up and move. That is what social media has done for you and I. Social media has, give, has brought many of us from different walks of life to come together. Many of us have gone to minister in nations we didn't know because of social media. Let's say, Lord, we thank you for the great revelations that you are releasing through this fasting and prayer. We thank you for more revelations that are going to come forth. We thank you because our spiritual eyes are open. Lord, we thank you because our spiritual ears are open. Lord, we thank you because, Lord, you are walking in us, moving in us, changing things in our direction. Father, we bless you. We exalt you. We glorify your name in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Number three, say, Father, we thank you for revealing the agenda of the emptiness. The their plants are futile in the name of Jesus. The Lord has said that he's restoring. They empty, but God is restoring you. They empty things out of your life. You know, when I tell people about the prodigal son, when the prodigal son took half of his father's property, I didn't see the father going to look for the son. I didn't see the father lack what anything. Even when he came back empty, he thought he was emptying his father. He didn't know he was emptying himself because when he came back, his father was still on point. The father still had a massive house. The father still had mansion. The father still had the, the fattest cat. The father still had robe. The father still had dream. That is to show you that when you one with God, it doesn't matter what left you. It doesn't matter what was taken out of your life. When you stand with God, our God is a restorer. He's a restorer of the bridges. He's a restorer of wealth. He's a restorer of anything you have lost. As long as you are standing with God. Then imagine if the son came back and the father said, and, you know, since you left me and you took half of my property, I have nothing. I cannot do any business anymore. Since you took half of my property, the half I had, I had to manage it with the servants. I had to manage it with your elder brother. The father didn't look at the son that ran away. That's why I tell you, when a prodigal runs away, leave them. Except you are not serving God. The prodigal father did not go sneak, sneaking. Where is he? What is he doing? Sending spies. Go and find out if my son is fine. No, the prodigal father, the prodigal son's father stayed in his mansion. He said, I stand with God, the giver of all good things. I stand with the one that is, the, that is an ocean. In him is no limitation. In him is able to do exceedingly abundantly more than I can think or imagine. That which my, my, my son had taken away from me. I, when he comes back, he will see much more. Hallelujah. May you get that revelation to know that your God 
is a God that is limitless. There is nothing he cannot replenish. It, it could take him a twinkle of an eye and he will restore everything you have lost. He will restore it more perfect than when he went, when you lost this. He will give you beauty for ashes in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you. We bless you. We thank you for revealing the agenda of the emptiness, their plans are destroyed. The Bible says he that he frustrates the devices of the crafty. Job 5.12. They are unable to carry out their enterprise. Every agenda of the crafty, it is destroyed, nullified by the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Prayer point number four. Father, every power of the night that has emptied me unknowingly, I ask for sevenfold restoration in the name of Jesus. Jesus gave a par parable. When they, when a good man sowed good, 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 good seed in his in his field, the the enemy came and sowed tars, and he did it in the night. You see, when you are there, people cannot empty you. So this emptying takes place in ignorance. <laughs> You're going to say, Lord, every power of the night has emptied me unknowingly in ignorance. Lord, let there be a sevenfold restoration today in the name of Jesus. Begin to ask God to restore you. Father, because his word says that the Lord will restore. Lord, according to your word in Nahu chapter 2, verse 1 to 2, that you will restore my excellence. Everything that I have lost by the power of the night, that any, everywhere I have been emptied, Jehovah. Lord, I ask for restoration right now. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Prayer point number five. Lord, everything I have lost in my life to emptiness, through dreams, through vision, through being in the wrong place, through being in the wrong relationship, in the wrong church, and wrong financial investment, in your mercy, Lord, restore in Jesus' name. Let me take that prayer point again. Some of us, we lost things in dreams. Some of us, we lost things in visions. Some of us, we lost things by being in the wrong place. Some of us, we lost things by being in the wrong relationship. Some of us, we lost things by being in the wrong church. Some of us, we lost th things by, being, by taking wrong financial investments. You're going to say, Lord, let your mercy speak. Let your mercy restore everything I have lost. Whether you lost those things in dreams, whether you lost them in vision, whether you lost them by being in the wrong place, whether you lost them by being in the wrong relationship, whether you lost them by being in the wrong church, <clears throat> or you took wrong financial investment, you're going to say, Lord, everything I've lost in my life. Father, in your mercy, restore according to your word in Nahum chapter 2, verse 1 to 2. That you restore the excellency, that you restore my excellency. You restore everything that I have lost to the emptiness. Tell the Lord, Father, in the name of Jesus, everything I have lost to God in my life, right from my childhood up to this stage. Lord, let there be a mega restoration. Let there be a mega restoration in Jesus' mighty name we pray amen hallelujah prayer point number six and it's a very important prayer point you're gonna say i use the blood of jesus to close every access the emptiness have to my life some of us there are doors we have opened we do not know there are doors we have opened to the emptiness you're gonna say lord i use the blood of jesus to close every access the emptiness have to my life to my children to my business to my career to my ministry and to my family in the name of jesus begin to split the blood let the blood close up every Every access, every access the enemy has gained into my life. Father, reveal to me what those accesses are. Some, it is some phone calls that you make. Some people that you give all the information about your life and the Holy Spirit has been nudging you and telling you, daughter, son, stop talking too much. I want to train you in the place of learning to become my custodian. You say, I tell people, when you want to keep the secrets of God, you must learn how to bridle your tongue. You must learn. It's not everything that you hear that even the Holy Spirit reveals to you that you are able to say immediately. Some people prophesy and they don't know how to prophesy well. They don't have the wisdom of prophecy. 
God gives them the word. They just announce it in the church to embarrass people. They don't know that every prophecy has to come with wisdom, has to come with words of comfort, has to come. There's a manner of presentation. Somebody shout hallelujah. Say, Lord, I use the blood of Jesus to close every door, every access I've opened to the enemy, every access I've opened to the powers of darkness, even if it's through my ignorance, my foolishness, my stupidity, in every way I have appeared to be that done things I shouldn't do. Lord, I use the blood of Jesus to close those accesses. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Prayer point number seven. Oh Lord, arise, waste my wasters, <laughs> destroy my destroyers, empty my emptiers. I put an end to the activities of emptiers working relentlessly against me in the name of Jesus. If you like, don't pray though. For me, I'm praying it. Hallelujah. Say, Oh Lord, arise, waste all my wasters, destroy all my destroyers, empty all my emptiers. I put an end to the activities of the emptiers walking relentlessly against my life and my destiny in the mighty name of jesus father i bring an end to the activities over my life they will not prosper over my children they will not prosper over my ministry face of joy they will not prosper over all that concerns me they will not prosper. somebody pray pray for yourself pray 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 say bring an end use your mouth bring an end to the activities of the emptiers wherever they have assigned to empty your life every junction the wicked one is waiting for you right now in the name of jesus we bring an end to the activities we bring an end to their to, to their to their functions in jesus mighty name we pray amen hallelujah prayer point number eight lord i fortify my life and destiny with the blood of jesus i use the blood of jesus as a weapon of protection i fortify my life and my destiny with your blood in jesus mighty name we pray amen prayer point number nine Father, we decree that the gates of hell shall not prevail over prayer jumpstart and the school of evangelism. Somebody lift up your voice and pray. Father, we decree that the gates of hell shall not prevail over this ministry, over prayer jumpstart. Father, that which you have started to ignite the prayer lives of people, to ignite people to come, to open their mouth. This, do it yourself. Pray for yourself. Deliver yourself in the place of prayer. Lord, no gate of hell, no activity of wickedness will overcome prayer johnson and the school of evangelism in the name of jesus somebody shout hallelujah just lift up your voice i begin to worship the lord say lord i thank you i bless you i give you glory for this time of prayer i bless you for what you are doing in our midst i thank you for your mercies for your kindness for your faithfulness lord i thank you for causing us to come before you to worship you to glorify your name lord we do not take it for granted we say lord Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We bless your holy name. We glorify your name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. I believe God that you have been blessed. I believe your destiny has been turned around for good. I believe that the name of Jesus will do wonders in your life. I believe that everything that has been emptied out of your life has been restored right now in the mighty name of Jesus. If you have any prayer requests, you can write it down. You can inbox me. You can bring it before the presence of God to the God that answers prayer. I'm going to worship the Lord with this song. You know, one of the names of Jesus is that he's wonderful. He's a wonder. So as we worship the Lord with this song, I pray that those things that you want to see, that is one that you want to be wonderful in your life, that God will arise for you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's just sing this song. Yes. A lot of us know this song. Thank you, my dearest sister. We are coming to Atlanta in November. She I'm speaking well, not Atlanta. Atlanta. As we honor you. You are wonderful. You are worthy, oh Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, oh Lord. 
We give you glory, Lord. I sleep, I say on you. I give you glory, Lord. I say on you. You are wonderful. You are worthy, oh Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, oh Lord. Be glory, Lord. I see all of you. We give you glory, Lord. I see all of you. Oh, you are wonderful. You are worthy, oh Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, oh. You are wonderful. You are worthy, oh Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, oh Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, oh Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, oh, oh, you are wonderful. You are worthy, oh Lord. Oh, you are wonderful. You are worthy, oh. 